Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm saying Lego Boy, and here we've got a uh, a VIP exclusive set. Only VIP members can buy it. Uh, if you try and buy it uh, online or at the Lego store, <laughs> they'll be like, uh, "You got your VIP card? Are you a VIP member?" And you have to say yes. You got to show them it. Everything. Um, it is set number 10230, or, I don't, wait, what, how would I say that, um, 10230, it's got 13, 1,356 pieces of VIP Lego awesomeness, so, how cool is that, um, on top shows you a whole mess of pieces, <laughs> Uh, these are all the pieces that are in here, and uh, what it is, is actually um, mini models of the first five uh, modular building sets, and so uh, they all function just like the modular buildings. I think you might even be able to take them apart uh, level by level, so sounds like fun. I'm glad I'm taking part in this and it was uh, $80 should have been $80 what was it yes $80 so let's build it I'll probably see you guys again in uh, like a few hours but you'll see me in like a few seconds so let's build it alright so now that we've finished building let's review. Um, this is actually about uh, 15 hours after I finished building yesterday. Uh, the only reason why I didn't do the review yesterday is because, um, well, it was about 10 o'clock at night and that's whenever people are sleeping in my house, so I didn't want to disturb them. So anyway, um, check out, look at these guys, they're so awesome, I love them, so um, I'm very, very pleased, I'm glad that I got them, so, uh, we've got the Cafe Corner, the Market Street, uh, the Green Grocer, the Fire Brigade, and the Grand Emporium, so, uh, they're, they're all detachable. How did I do this earlier? Just like that, except uh, these pegs are actually supposed to be in there, but um, they, they work just like the um, the actual modular buildings, with the exception of splitting off from each other. Um, the only ones that could really do that was uh, the market street but there wasn't really anything you could do um and the grand emporium almost kind of ish so i was okay and the market street the building is just a little bit too large because this part is supposed to be the same distance as this part, and they don't actually split up from each other like uh, the actual set does, but that's okay. Um, they couldn't get the curves in there, but that's okay too. Uh, so, yeah. And they all have the backs to them. Let's get all these extra pieces out of the way uh, while I'm doing that. I'll talk about this piece. And this, if you don't know what it is already, um, this is a brick separator. Now, they've made brick separators in the past, but that was this thing. This thing was nice because it had a little bit of a thumb thing and it had a wider base, but it ultimately kind of used up a whole bunch of plastic. It couldn't do much. It could only really remove uh, plates from the bottom and plates from the top 
couldn't remove tiles, couldn't do much else other than that, and regular bricks, you could just take them apart. With the exception of using your nail, there wasn't really much else you could do. This thing is a major, major improvement, and it actually came with the set, which was awesome, because this used a whole bunch of tiny pieces, and uh, I guess because it came with a bunch of tiny pieces, they gave you a brick separator, and... Uh, and I actually had to use this a few times, and it works great. Um, you still have the uh, plates underneath, plates on top section, but now you also have this tile remover bit where you actually have this end where it can get underneath tiles. Ah, wait. And Theoretically, you could remove them, but for some reason, this doesn't want to work for me. Ah, uh, there we go. But it works just like that. And then there's an axle uh, remover for bushings and stuff like that. You line that up just right, you push down, and it should work. So, I guess the only thing this can't do would be... Nothing, really. I mean, this this can do a lot. And, uh, let's see, does it stay on, stays on a little bit better than the older ones did? This thing, like, I could put it there, but it was very loose. So, this one's a bit of a step up. Um, it actually has, uh, another little area in there, so you could actually, um, you could actually remove jumper plates, which is cool, like older ones at least. And of course the battery decides to try and die now. <sighs> this camera is bothering me so much. I don't get it. Exactly what did I do wrong to make this camera angry at me? So. Uh, that's the brick separator. Um, I, I did buy another one, but that was uh, before I ended up getting this one. I, I wanted the new one, and uh, two are always better than one, because uh, if you've got two plates that are stuck together, you can remove them by using two uh, brick separators, and it works great. So now I've got two. I'm happy about that. And now we're going to swap out the battery so that you guys don't die. Alright, so now we're back with the uh, replacement, or, well, not the replacement, but uh, the supplemental battery that probably lasts longer is what I hear, and is fully charged, so hopefully we can make it last. Um, but anyway, they also have all the little fixings on the back. So here we've got the entire back corner that was uh, on the back of the uh, cafe corner. That's all uh, cleared out. This area is all cleared out. Same here. And uh, er everything's just like the sets. Like a little fire escape is there. Some little awnings right there. But, yeah, ultimately there really isn't anything on the back, but that's okay. You don't need much on the back, and I think we're just going to go over each one individually now. So, ah, get those off of there. We'll reattach them here. Come on. Alright, so, just move these over and out of here, and we'll be able to focus in on some of the details. So, here we've got the cafe corner. Looks great. Uses some uh, great little snot techniques. Uh, very, very cool. We've got the bench that's included in the set, the little side door, 
the main entrance here, uh, even the little picnic tables, they're right there. So that's cool. Uh, got the little chimneys on top, has detail for uh, some just architecture things, some more great snot work. So very enjoyable build and um, right here is the only printed piece in the set everything else um, there is no printing nor is, are there stickers so that's very uh, good to hear um, you don't have anything on the back side though but that's perfectly acceptable it's fine but this is just amazing Come on, focus, focus. I mean, just look at that. Look at all the little details in there. And it's got little lines just like uh, the actual set would have had to uh, make the words for a hotel. So that's very, very cool. Uh, did I put that on right? Yes. Yes, I did. All right. And this part right here is actually a toilet seat with skeleton legs. I would show you, but I don't want to mess it up. And it's, it's a tiny bit out of scale, but that is okay. Still looks amazing. So, very, very cool. And then we'll move on to the next one. And, oh, jeez. Smacking the camera. Come on, work. There we go. The next one is uh, Market Street, and this one is uh, really cool. Blah, 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 blah. It's really cool. It actually uses more snot techniques than uh, the Cafe Corner did. Here, like, you've got the entire sides of the building are snot. Um, very nice dark blue 2x4 plates, but up here we had 2x2 uh, two two plates in medium blue. And I ended up getting an extra one, and I looked everywhere, didn't miss a single piece, so I ended up getting an extra, that's kind of cool. Um, this one, I think it was a little bit one of uh, the more favorite builds, but that was because of the whole uh, snot techniques like this. That they used that uh, none of the others quite used as much like most of the building is made from that so that's cool um, like I said before it does not separate but that's okay um, and we've got the little steps right there um, there's uh, flowers there are supposed to be flowers right there so that is uh, some nice little fun detailing that they added and this is supposed to be one of the baskets for uh, food. Why am I not like more zoomed in so you guys could see this? Uh, this is a basket for food. A uh, little entrance. This is where just some detail work was. It was cool. And nothing really much on the back. Uh, here, this is supposed to be the detail of this lion head, so still pretty nice and fun. They never added uh, the little flag that's right here, but that's completely understandable. Um, and there is no uh, light lamppost thing, but that's perfectly fine too, so... Now we move on to uh, Green Grocer. Hold on, we gotta get that back in place. And uh, I, I, fun fact, I really geeked out on this. I made sure that 
all the studs were facing the same direction wherever possible. And, oh wait, that's not supposed to be there. These are supposed to be on the other one. Oh my, oh, well, we'll, we'll put those on later. We've gotta review this one first though, so. Anyway, it actually looks like things are missing or something isn't quite right. Um, hang on, we're, we're, we're looking through the LEGO magazine since I don't have any of, of the uh, modular buildings. Flipping through Lego Magazine. Ah, oh, there we go. So, uh, let's see. There is, uh, this is a fire hydrant right there. Uh, these are the, I, originally I thought this was a bench. No, it's actually a uh, place for uh, some food and vegetables. So I'm not quite sure why they didn't uh, throw in a few pieces. Maybe they just didn't want to. I'm not sure. Uh, this is a little trash can. They've got a door. Uh, they never put a door here. But, uh, and actually, it's completely see-through. So not quite sure if that was supposed to be there. On purpose um, they actually have a checkerboard floor inside but you can't really see that um, we've got the lights that were on the building a little out of scale but you know like I was doing the best they can uh, the bay window kind of interesting how they didn't uh, make it more bay window like I guess uh, but uh, that's kind of hard to scale down. But they also never put a window here. So that's kind of weird. We've got the little uh, side. Or these little roof windows right there. Uh, these are the, uh, the balconies, kind of. Nice little awnings right there. And on the back, I already showed you, it had the uh, the fire escape, which is not quite accurate. I think this camera hates me or something. Because all of a sudden it just turned off. It's like, you're recording too long. It's like, but you, you're able to take, what, like 30 minutes of video at a time? No, actually even more. It's more like three hours. How did I get three minutes, or not 30 minutes, I was like, weird, but, uh, yeah, this one was, uh, pretty cool, uh, did some nice work with jumper plates on here, so, kind of neat. Now, we'll move on to the fourth building in the set, and that was the fire brigade. And the fire brigade was definitely uh, the hardest one to build because um, there are a ton of little jumper plates everywhere. There are a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of little tiny one by ones that you're putting together to get this brick pattern on here. Just a whole bunch, but uh, more use of Baraki eyes for lights. So, that's cool. Got some gold in there for uh, detailing. These are supposed to be uh, hats. There is no lamppost again, but that's okay. Uh, nice use for little garters and everything for, to warn people. And this is a light that does that as well. Uh, no tree, unfortunately. 
uh, comes with a flag, an American flag, so. Kind of a poor American flag, but you know, it's still, it, it gets you uh, the idea of it. These are uh, the more brick, the dark red bricks that were used. Uh, good use of detailing there. Just like it, like it is in the set. These are some upside down uh, cheese type slopes for detail in the building. Um, right here, I'm surprised they didn't do another printed piece because uh, this is where the 1932 is supposed to be. Um, the bell, the way they did that was very creative. I like that. They've got a minifigure head up here for the water barrel cooler thing. So that was very enjoyable. Uh, what else? And then the back lot, really. Uh, didn't come with this little thing that uh, juts out the back for uh, a fire truck to go in, and it didn't ever come with a very tiny mini fire truck, but that's okay. Uh, it didn't come with anything else, so. But this one was crazy with all its little jumper plates, and I think Lego has come out with a new jumper plate design. Um, it's very hard to see, but the jumper plates now look like they're going to have the tile groove. Like, y you know how uh, the tiles have grooves? They're putting those on jumper plates now, so that's very, very nice, helpful, everything. So... Although the brick separator, the new brick separator can remove jumper tiles from the top. You can also remove them by going underneath the groove and popping up. So that is very cool. And then we got onto the Grand Emporium. Now, this one wasn't my least favorite, but it was kind of the most annoying because it was very, very repetitive. And it was probably very, very, very repetitive for the people that uh, were building the actual set. What? What? Hmm. Alright, um. But, anyway. We've got the flags on here, the ice cream truck, the mailbox. Uh, this is, uh, supposed to represent the words, uh, shop on there. We've got two flags. Whenever there were really four, but that's okay. Uh, some nice details there. Although they're not the right color, but neither are these pieces here. But uh, this was very repetitive. I mean, you built this type of a thing with another one of these green plates. It, it decided to get stuck right there. You built eight of these. It was too much for me. I didn't like it. But um, also has the window washer platform, and you actually get an extra one of these uh, string pieces. And up here you've got the billboard for, uh, this is supposed to represent the minifigure head, and that's the uh, present. But I, don't know, I think they could have done a better job at that, but... I'm not one to judge Lego for making the decisions on things. Uh, there was never any detail on the insides, which was too bad, because this was the one that was kind of more able to be a like a modular building where you could separate this, although it doesn't want to do it now. <laughs> so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, also on the back... You got this little doorway back here and a light, so. And some windows. But. 
still a a very cool model that they put out here. Um, these are also flowers. These little pink things. So. But, yeah, um, this is a very nice collector set. If you're a VIP member, I would suggest you get it. It was fun to build. My fingers are kind of raw, though, from dealing with all these little tiny pieces. But that's also another good thing. If you're only getting this for pieces, and I, I almost kind of want to go out and get uh, this again, even though I don't have m the money to do so, I kind of want to go out and get another one, just because the pieces in here were great. You got a whole bunch of tiny pieces, some in some more uh, rare colors, like uh, this dark trans green. I don't know how often they use dark trans green anymore, but uh, it's still cool. These little yellow Baraki eyes, the transparent yellow Baraki eyes, that would be a good piece to have. I'm not quite sure what you'd do with it. Um, if you're one that finds creative ways to use uh, jumper plates, you get a whole bunch in every single one. Uh, you, some, I think, are some dark tan. You get uh, some nice dark tan with the fire brigade. Uh, you get some good sand green. You've got a bunch of smaller pieces of the medium blue, so that is very nice. Um, you've got a bunch of transparent uh, one by one clear bricks. So those are also nice. Uh, if you happen to want a toilet seat, you could find a way to use that. Um, we get a whole bunch of skeleton legs. Not really much sure you could do with that unless you found something really creative and awesome. And I found you on mock pages doing that. That I give you a shout out or something. Um, not sure what you would do with this hotel printing, but still, they they were definitely fun to build, nice, and I mean you get a whole slew of pieces and. They all came in number bags, so one, two, three, four, five, and look at all these extra pieces. I really think my technology hates me or something. This is a 16 gigabyte card, and somehow it's full. I don't know how. I think maybe like a 10 minute review for the Gene Ocean Cannon maybe a 15, maybe 20, I'm not sure, for the, uh, for Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. What made this video so long? There must be something hidden on the can on the SD card or something, because, I mean, like, all of a sudden it just decided to make, make me stop. It was just, it ran out of time or something. I don't know. But anyway, these were very great fun builds I highly su suggest that you get them um, and also uh, these are only the first five this goes up to 2010 we still have um, the pet shop and some other thing it, it was a double uh, modular building where it, it was kinda like the uh, Market Street, except whenever you did the mini, it, it this one scrunched up, this one was a little whatever. Um, it, it split up into two separate things, so you could actually add it on to something else. So, hopefully, uh, they'll make more once they uh, make the next five modular buildings. Uh, so, hopefully, we'll get a pet shop, some other kind of store combo model and um the town hall and then whatever three they're planning on making later for the future and stuff like that but this spans from 2007 to 2010 so maybe we'll get one that goes like from 2011 to 2012 or something maybe or maybe not maybe not like that maybe more like 2014 maybe i'm not sure 
But if they ever come out with another one, that'd be really cool because these were awesome. I do believe that is it, so you don't have to hear me rambling on much longer. So, yeah. This has been MC Lego Boy with 10230 Mini Modulars. See ya guys. Rough reviews are rough.